the voiceover business, clearly there's one genre of material that seems to outnumber everything else, and it's probably the most time-consuming, and that's e-learning. So the question is, what's the most efficient way to take these long slide scripts and turn them into individual files? Well, you can try and record each individual file and label them that way, but you want to be able to create a file that is totally consistent from slide to slide. So there's a couple ways you can do that. One is by marking everything and using those marks. And you can mark those a couple of different ways. The best way to do this is to slate each slide as you do it and record the entire script. Now, you can mark each one of these using the M key on your keyboard as you're recording. Slide 12. First, the cabinet series designation. Slide 13. Next is the model designation. Slide 14. Now, the other way to do it is simply do it as part of your normal editing process. And I'll explain to you why we need these marks in just a minute. Now, this involves a lot of copying and pasting. So, what you do is you put a marker using an M at the one second mark, then drag back from two seconds, highlight it, copy it, and then go through your editing process, slide one, and then just take that, go back to zero paste it, and you have a perfect one-second gap between files. Then, click on the marker and type in the name of the file. We'll call it slide1, and then we'll copy the word slide, so we have that for future reference. Click OK, and you have a marked file. Then go back and do that again. Same thing. Only hit Paste and put another number. Slide 3. And continue on throughout the entire file and do it that way. What you end up with is a file totally marked with one second gaps between each file. Now, you can do your processing in any program you want. Now, here I'm using uh, Adobe Audition because I have some preset processes that I like to use. You can do your compression, then expand out using normalization. And you have your totally processed file. So far, we've found out this only really works in Twisted Wave, but you can do the editing in Adobe Audition and a few others that will put those markers in there, and Twisted Wave will recognize them. Audacity doesn't. But here's what you do in Twisted Wave. You click Markers, Split by Markers, and it will create an entire divided-up file in whatever format you want. Here we use MP3. Click OK. It will process. And what you end up with is a bunch of individual, individually named files that you can highlight, create another folder, and just dump them in the folder, and they're all in order. So you could go through, do it slide by slide, mark each slide, record each slide, and do it that way, or record the whole thing, maintain a consistent file sound throughout and do this in a much more efficient manner.